This video will walk through the process of setting up a Moodle gradebook for weighted categories, which is one of the most common grade calculation methods. If you use a grading system that includes different categories of graded items, and each category contributes a different proportion to the total grade, you are using a weighted category aggregation method. In Moodle, this is called weighted mean of grades. Let's take a look at an example of a gradebook set up for weighted categories. Click on the Grades link in the course menu at the top of the Moodle course page. The Grader Report screen is shown by default. Graded activities like assignments and quizzes, and forums if they're graded, will automatically populate in the Grader Report and in the Gradebook Setup screen. Click on the drop down menu and under Setup, click Gradebook Setup. At the top, you see the name of the course. This is the overall container for all grades in the course. Under Status, you can see some settings that have been configured. Below that, you see the course total. This is the aggregation, or the method of calculating, all the grades in the course. Below the course total, there is a category called Discussions 15% because in this course, all group discussions together contribute 15% towards the total course grade. Under the weights column, you can see that the weight of this category has been adjusted to 15. Clicking on the three dots in the actions column allows you to edit the category and configure different options. Indented below the category name, you can see there are a number of Moodle activities that have already been organized within the category. You can click the caret to collapse the grade items and just see the category name. There are other categories here for assignments, quizzes, and project, each with different weights. There's also a category for non-graded items with a weight of zero. You might have noticed that my category percentages don't add up to 100% yet. Looking back at my grading policy, I see that I'll need to add one more category for presentation, which will contribute 15% to the total grade and bring the sum of the category percentages to 100%. To add a new category, click on Add in the upper right corner, then select Add Category. Enter the category name and be sure to be descriptive. For consistency and clarity, I also like to include the category's weight as a percentage in the name. The aggregation method is how the grades within this category will be calculated. I'll leave this as weighted mean of grades to be consistent with the rest of the gradebook. For an explanation of different aggregation methods, see the links in the video description. Exclude empty grades means that if an item has not yet been graded, it will not be counted in the category calculation. If I uncheck this box, it will calculate empty grades as zeros. This might give students an inaccurate picture of their progress in the course, so we recommend keeping the box checked. The question mark help icons will provide pop-up help to understand the various choices you can make. When you're done configuring the settings, click Save. When you make a change to the gradebook setup, the gradebook has to recalculate. Click the Continue button to get back to the setup screen. The new category will appear at the bottom of the gradebook. Notice that the weight defaults to zero, and you must change it to match your grading policy. Click Save Changes at the bottom right corner, then click Continue. You can move items in two ways. To move an individual category or grade item, click the double-headed arrow Move icon, and then click on a dotted line between two other items to move the item into that location. You can also move items in bulk by clicking the checkboxes for several items. Click on Move at the bottom of the screen, then select the category you want to move those items into. 
When you're ready to enter grades, you can do that in the assignment activities or directly into the grader report. Watch the video linked in the description to see how to grade activities. After you set up your gradebook and have an understanding of navigating the grader report, you're ready to create graded activities. Please refer to additional videos and Moodle support documentation for further information and training. You can also contact the LearnTech help desk for additional support.